Hey guys, Reed here. Today I want to show you a way to distribute a report in multiple workspaces and apps, but that will only require you to update a single PBIX file when making changes to the report itself. I was recently approached with a scenario where a client had a single report built off of a shared dataset, but they wanted to host that report in more than one app workspace. The problem was that after each report change, they'd have to republish the report file to each workspace and app one at a time, which was slow and painful. So let's hop into the Power BI service as I explain a solution to this problem. So I'm going to use a copy of my Google Analytics report as an example. If you're curious about this report or some of the metrics available in it, I will link you to my file store over on the right that will have more information and details about it. But for this video, if you take a look in the lower right, you'll notice that it says connected to a live Power BI dataset. So this model for this report is sitting in my Google Analytics workspace. That's why it's a connected dataset. You'll get a similar experience whether or not you've connected to a Power BI dataset or a tabular model on-prem or in Azure Analysis Services. But the point is that I now have a report that I want to publish in multiple workspaces. And if I ever make any changes to the layout here or the UI or anything in the report settings, I don't want to have to republish multiple times. I want to save this file once and have that migrate. And the way to do that is actually saving this file to either OneDrive for business or SharePoint. So if I come up here, let's say I'm going to make a change. Something's been done and now I've updated the report. I have now saved this to one of those two locations, whichever one is your preference. In this case, I do have it saved in my OneDrive for Business, my Power BI folder, and there's my report. So I save a change here, and that syncs to my OneDrive. And now let's hop over to the Power BI service. And in this case, there are two workspaces that I want this to be published to. I have the examples over here. Let's just say Workspace 1, Workspace 2. Both of these want to have the same report published to them. The reason I have two different workspaces is let's just assume there are some business requirements, maybe some links and a few other small differences that just require me for some business need to have separate workspaces, but both of them being able to see the same report and the same data set. So to save me from needing to republish that file twice to both workspaces, or in this case, five, six or seven workspaces, especially if I've distributed this report in a lot of locations, I would use a special option to add it from OneDrive or add it from SharePoint. So get data down here, if you go to this and you go to create new content, if you go to get files, you have the option for OneDrive for Business or SharePoint Teams Sites. In this case, if I select that, go to Power BI, click that report. So that's the report that's been added to both locations. So you'll see in here now, if I go back to Workspace 1, I have the report here. And if I go to data sets, notice that there's a little link here that's actually connected to the data set in the core workspace. My Google Analytics single data set is sitting in another workspace and the same report has been added using the git file from OneDrive in both workspace one and in workspace two. So now at any point, if I was to ever need to make a change, I could open that file from OneDrive in Power BI Desktop, make a change, and then that would automatically populate into the reports themselves. And it's not completely instantaneous. It does take anywhere between five to 15 minutes for the changes to show up because it first has to sync to OneDrive and then OneDrive has to sync to Power BI. But now I only have to make one change. I don't have to republish and I can distribute that single file in as many different workspaces as I want without having to do multiple updates in multiple locations. Now, there's one other thing I would like to mention. If you come up to the workspace, let's say workspace one, and you go to report, if you try to share this by using save a copy, I can add this report yet again with the connected data set to another one of these workspaces. However, because it's making a copy of it, that file is now kept in that workspace and is no longer connected to OneDrive. So it does not share that linked functionality as far as updates goes. So the way to add this report to other workspaces, you should always use the get data from file and then make sure then to go to the OneDrive for Business or to SharePoint. That is the way you need to add it if you want them all to stay synced to that same file and location. But otherwise, it's a fairly straightforward and elegant solution to a particular problem of when you are wanting to have a single report existing in multiple locations using a single data set, but at the same time reducing development overhead. Thank you so much for watching, and please don't forget to like, comment, or share this video. Plus, if this is your first time to my channel, or you want to see more of these awesome videos, please click that subscribe and notification button. So until next time.